guys. If you like my videos, like, subscribe, comment, helps me out a bunch. Uh, I just thought I would do another video, kind of a follow up on a couple videos ago where I talked about how to get into FPV. So one thing I mentioned in that video was if you want to start out in FPV, the first thing you should probably do is get one of these, an FPV controller. This one is actually a DJI uh, FPV controller. You don't have to get a DJI one. These are kind of expensive. Um, if you want to go that digital route or you're thinking you want to go that digital route, then maybe. Um, but really just get a controller, something that can plug into your computer and uh, just start flying the simulator. A um, couple simulators I mentioned in the other video were like Velocidrone, uh, Liftoff. That's the one I play the most. Um, there's also some new ones that have come out recently, like Uncrashed. Uh, there's another one. It's like Tripped or something like that, but I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put an annotation or something. So yeah, get a controller and start practicing in the sim. You know, once you practice a bunch and decide if you're actually gonna be able to do it, then the next step would be like, buy a tiny whoop or like a smaller drone that you know, if you crash, it's not gonna be like a ton of money to replace it. One that I would recommend is uh, Beta FPV Beta 95X. That is a really good starter drone in my opinion. It's a little bigger than a Tiny Whoop, but it'll allow you to practice while at the same time being a really good cinematic drone. So, oh my God, it's so hot. The Beta 95X is gonna be a good cinematic drone where you can you know, get cool one shots with that. So you could go from not being able to fly at all to like actually being able to do some professional work with that drone, like legit. way in my opinion to get into FPV is to get like a smaller drone like a tiny whoop or a smaller cinema style whoop right a little cine whoop but not like a full-size cine whoop a little guy kind of like this one this is the uh, beta FPV beta 95x and uh, it's actually running a little um, Cadex Vista which is the the VTX, the video transmission unit. I can fly this thing just like all my five inch freestyle quads or my cinema quad using the same controller and goggles. So I can, you know, you can use my DJI goggles with it. And oh wait, so I can use it with my DJI controller and my DJI goggles which is really awesome if you have multiple drones on set. I'm never on set. What am I talking about? Maybe someday. But it's nice to have one system with you. You know, I can have a freestyle quad, a five inch cinema quad, and then I can have this guy and I can film with it. Well, you might be looking at it and like, be thinking like, how do you film with this? Well, this is how you film with it. I'm just really trying to brag that I have two of them. Um, but yeah, you can get this camera, which actually Insta360 and uh, Beta FPV kind of did like a collab and uh, made this camera. This is the uh, Insta360 SMO 4K. So this little camera can shoot 4K. And there's plenty of things like this on the market. I mean, you don't have to go with this one. You could also get a stripped down GoPro or you could get this uh, GoPro Hero bones, which is, this is just a Hero 10, like I said in, you know, my other video. Except this one, you know, uh, maybe I'll talk about it in the future, but yeah, I kind of fried this one. So maybe I'll make a video about that. So if you want to film 
like a professional fly through of like real estate or you just want to make cool videos, dude, get one of these. How cool is that, man? Shoot 4K with this, you can fly it around people. You know, this is even less scary than the Cinewoop. I don't know, but the main thing and the main reason why I suggest this drone. So when you start out with FPV, a lot of people will recommend you getting a tiny whoop, which is one of these guys. This is also made by Beta FPV. It's, oh God, I can't remember the Meteor uh, or the Meteor, I don't know. I'll, I'll put it right here or something. Um, that's uh, Beta FPV's tiny whoop. And that thing is really fun but you can't like film with that, but you can zip around your apartment like I do. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I forgot to close that. Um, yeah, so you can zip around your apartment with, you know, analog goggles and your analog controller. But once you get sick of just flying, like once you actually wanna do something with it, there's really nowhere to go with that other than you know, maybe building a drone or buying a bigger drone where you can put a camera on it. The main reason why I'm recommending this drone or your first drone is because it's really durable and it's small enough where it's pretty easy to fly around people and crash and you don't have to worry about, you know, crashing into your walls and destroying your apartment or house or whatever. Um, it's bigger than a tiny whoop, so it's a lot easier to control, as you can imagine. I mean, just with a size comparison. I mean, this, you see small and you think, oh, that's gonna be easy to fly. This thing, like, is lighter than air, man. I mean, I'm surprised it's not floating out of my hand right now. It's, like, super light. So every single little gust of wind or twitch of your thumb is gonna send this thing going all kinds of chaotic, which you'll get used to. But with this one, it's a little bigger and has more mass and it's a lot more stable in the air. Another reason why I'd recommend this one, it's a lot easier to fly. So, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, little whoops that are in this style. Um, this one's a really good one, um, but there's other ones out there. Uh, if you find one on sale or something. I mean, just look for something that has like a 2.5 inch prop and has guards on it. I mean. And if you want the DJI system, look for one with a Cadex Vista on there. So that, I don't have a name for this one. I was gonna say that is whatever cool name I have for it. Um, that is Strawberry Whiplash. No, okay, we'll think about it. Yeah, 